Hello YouTube, this is part 3 of my Hitman Contracts playthrough and this is the Beldingford Manor. Uh, before I start uh, talking about the gameplay, I have to say this is probably my least favourite mission in the game. Uh, it's not too bad on normal but uh, playing it on professional really put me off the level so yeah that kind of affects what I think about it but uh, apart from that I don't mind doing this level. and. Um, this is uh this is an a silent assassin walkthrough because um for this playthrough I decided just to uh, do it a fun way because why not <laughs> so right now I've just shot that guard in the head um and the first thing I'm going to be doing is heading over to the manor house in which I'll find my first target um which is a room full of people having a meeting so uh, they're not too hard to kill but um yeah these guys are all looking out because uh, that guy shot his gun so they're all on alert but it's not too much of a problem we've got a disguise so yeah and um even though I said I dislike this mission, there is some uh, good things about it. For example, I like the atmosphere and um, well, the the mapping of the levels really good because there's so many different ways to do it. It adds quite a lot of variety to the game, and also um, it's. Just, yeah, it's just a mission you could do quite a few times, but definitely not on professional. That sucks all the fun out of this mission, and it kind of, that's what made me dislike this mission in the first place. But before that, I actually liked it, so you know why I dislike it now. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, I kind of blew my cover. So I've resor resorted to my silenced pistol and um just kill all the guards so they're no problem now <laughs> all right if we go up through here we actually come across um a secret door i think yeah i think it's up here anyway there's a secret door which leads straight to uh the old man's bedroom for some reason but uh it's uh, it's really helpful and um Unless that girl's in the toilet, then yeah, she's not there. But uh, here, here it is. Um, I don't know why he's there, but I'm gonna kill him, so he's not gonna be a problem anymore. <laughs> but there, he's dead. Um, now, yeah, this leads straight up to his bedroom, and we, we just want to kill him because he's a target. There we go. He's dead. And uh, I'll just run outside now and head over to the main mansion, uh, the, well, the main area, because that's where the rest of my targets are. And uh, so far, I'm not really doing this mission very sneakily. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, as I said, I want to do it a fun way. So don't use this as a walkthrough, otherwise, uh, well, there's no point, <laughs> but yeah, through this door, uh, I'll come across the main target. Um, there's multiple ways you can take these guys out, there's, you can either poison the drinks or throw a kind of, I think it's oil down the fire so it blows blows up when it hits the, the fire, and that's quite um. A different way to do it I guess but there's no problem with that sure it takes a bit longer but it's still a fun thing to do <laughs> um, and some people say this is a standout mission of contracts while I kind of agree with them I don't because as I said before I don't like this mission very much um, but before I actually made this video, I messed around a bit to try and find different ways I could do it, and well, I came across quite a few, so that was 
quite a good discovery I found because I don't play this mission very much in the first place never mind find different ways to do it and um, there's only one way I know to do this mission and that was the silent assassin route it was a really long long way though so I don't like that very much Oh yeah, if uh, you like this video, just go and check out the rest of my Heman Contracts videos. They're in a playlist, so they're really easy to find. And um, the, the majority of them are actually Silent Assassins, so that's quite helpful if you need a walkthrough or if you just want to watch something. And uh, yeah, this is a mission where you can get the Golden Desert Eagle. Uh, this is one of two missions you get, I think. Um, one of them's in, where is it, uh, Hong Kong. I don't know, I think it's there, but one of uh, the places you get it is there. And the rest of it, well, the other place is here. Um, now, in Hong Kong, I'm just saying Hong Kong because that's what I think it is. I'm not certain. Um... You actually pick it up off the guy's bodyguard, um, what's his name, Lee Hong, you pick it up off his bodyguard, um, and he's really easy to kill, so that's no problem, um, and right now I'm just gonna kill the sniper, otherwise he's gonna kill me, because this, during, um, a pre-run through before I actually start recording, um, this sniper killed me, I just ran out and got shot, and I died. I think about uploading that video because I was dressed up as the um, the butler, so it looked quite funny. <laughs> and um, that was a clean shot; no one noticed. Fortunately, uh, the next thing, well, the final thing we need to do is in this room. Um, we need to save someone. Who actually is locked in the stable for some reason. I didn't check over the briefing, so I'm not too sure. But um yeah, we need to pick the key up off uh, the stable boy, whatever he is, and um we just need to go and rescue him. Oh yeah, if you've not got a disguise, then I recommend poisoning the horses because yeah, they're making a lot of noise right now and that can disrupt the mission. And uh, your stealth, which is not a good thing. And uh, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't matter if I crouched down or not here because I've got a disguise on, so it didn't matter really. But uh, I'm gonna kill this guard. But oh no, I've got no ammo. So I'm just gonna rescue him. And uh, you don't need to escort this guy, he just runs off. I think he hops over the fence or something, but. Yeah, he just runs off, and that's the mission. You can just run to the end now, as I do. Um, I'm going to skip it a bit, so you don't have to watch me hike, well, running a marathon <laughs> around the manor. But, um, yeah, I would say that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, a like, and a favourite. And if you want more, check out the playlist, as I said, and subscribe. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.